So in this video, we are going to continue on solving questions on complex numbers. Now let's try this question. The complex number z satisfies the equation 4z minus 3z bar equals 1 minus 18j divided by 2 minus j, where z bar is the complex conjugate of z. Solve the equation leaving your answer in the form x plus jy where x and y are all real numbers. So for this question, we have this equation containing z and then z bar. Now we are told that z is a complex number and z bar is the complex conjugate of z. Now we are asked to solve the equation for z, leaving our answer in the form x plus jy, that is the rectangular form, where we have x and y to be all real numbers. So let's solve this question together. So now, we don't know the value of z. However, we know that a complex number can be represented in the rectangular form as x plus jy. Therefore, let's assume that z is equal to x plus jy. So we are going to assume that z is equal to x plus jy. Then in that case, the complex conjugate of z, which is z bar, will be equal to x minus jy. So the next thing we are going to do is to substitute the values of z and then z bar into this equation. So we have 4z minus 3z bar equals 1 minus 18j divided by 2 minus j. So let's substitute the values of z and then z bar in here. So that becomes we have 4 times z x plus jy minus 3 times z bar which is x minus jy equals 1 minus 18 j divided by 2 minus j. Now let's simplify the terms we have on the left hand side. So we have 4 times x that is 4x, 4 times jy we have 4jy negative 3 times x that is negative 3x and then negative 3 times negative jy is plus 3jy that is equal to 1 minus 18j divided by 2 minus j now let's add the common terms 4x minus 3x is x and then 4jy plus 3jy is 7jy and that is equal to 1 minus 18j divided by 2 minus j. Now on the right hand side we have a complex number divided by another complex number. So if you have a complex number divided by another complex number then you are going to basically multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So let's resolve this. So in the last step, we arrived at x plus 7jy equals 1 minus 18j divided by 2 minus j. Now let's resolve what we have on the right hand side. So we have 1 minus 18j divided by 2 minus j so that is equal to 1 minus 18 j divided by 2 minus j times the complex conjugate of the denominator so we have 2 plus j divided by 2 plus j let's simplify this so we have 1 times the whole of this that is 2 plus j minus 18 j times 2 plus j all divided by 2 times 
2 plus j minus j times 2 plus j so let's simplify further we have 1 times 2 which is 2 1 times j is j negative 18j times 2 is negative 36j and then we have negative 18 times 1 that is negative 18 j times j is j square and then j square is equal to negative 1 so that becomes plus 18 all divided by 2 times 2 is 4 2 times j is 2j negative j times 2 is negative 2j j times j is j square which is equal to negative 1 so negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1 so we have this becomes 2 plus 18 that is 20 and then j minus negative 36 j is negative 35 j all divided by this cancels out this we are left with 4 plus 1 which is 5 so we can further simplify this as 20 divided by 5 minus 35j divided by 5 which is equal to 4 minus 7j at this point we are going to substitute this in place of this whole thing therefore we have x plus 7jy equals 4 minus 7j now at this point you realize that we have real and imaginary terms so we are going to compare both terms so for the real terms we have x and then 4 so we say that x is equal to 4 and then for the imaginary we have 7y that is on the left hand side equals negative 7 therefore we divide through by 7 because we want to find the value of y and then we have y equals negative 1 therefore we have x to be 4 and then we have y to be negative 1 so in that case the value of the complex number z is equal to 4 minus j so now let's move on to the next question so for question 4 if z is equal to 22 plus 4j and z divided by w is equal to 6 minus 8j find a w in the form x plus jy and then b the modulus and argument of w let's try this question also together so we have z equals 22 plus 4j and then we have z divided by w equals 6 minus 8j now we are going to find the complex number w in the form x plus jy so how do we go about this particular question now the first thing to do is to substitute the complex number z into this equation so for this equation we have z divided by w equals 6 minus 8j so that becomes in place of z we have 22 plus 4j divided by w equals 6 minus 8j now let's interchange the positions of w and then 6 minus 8j so that's going to be 22 plus 4j divided by 6 minus 8j equals w at this point we can factor out 2 and then cancel out so that's going to be we factor out 2 from the numerator so that we have 2 into brackets 11 plus 2j divided by 2 out we have 3 minus 4j and that is equal to w so we can cancel out 2 and then we have w equals 
11 plus 2g divided by 3 minus 4g at this point we have a complex number divided by another complex number so let's resolve this So we have W equals 11 plus 2J divided by 3 minus 4J. So we are going to multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugates of the denominator. So that is 3 plus 4J divided by 3 plus 4J. So let's simplify. We have 11 times 3, that is 33. 11 times 4g that is 44g 2j times 3 is 6g and then we have 2 times 4 which is 8 j times j is j square and then j square is equal to negative 1 so that becomes negative 8 all divided by 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 4g is 12g negative 4j times 3 is negative 12g we have negative 4 times 4 which is negative 16 j times j is j square which is equal to negative 1 so that becomes plus 16 so we have 33 minus 8 which is 25 so 25 44j plus 6j is 50j all divided by this cancels out this we are left with 9 plus 16 which is 25 therefore this becomes 25 divided by 25 plus 50j divided by 25 and then we have w equals 1 plus 2j so this is the complex number w so that is for a so for b we are going to find the modulus and argument of W. The modulus and argument of W. So we had the complex number W equals 1 plus 2J. We are going to find the values of R and then theta. So to do this, we need to represent this complex number on the Argand diagram. So we have this to be the Agand diagram. We have the imaginary axis and the real axis. We have the x value to be 1 and the y value to be 2. So on the real axis, we have 1. On the imaginary axis, we have 2. So that is W equals 1 plus 2J. At this point, let's find the value of R. So we have R equals the square root of the X component square plus the Y component square. That is equal to 1 square plus 2 square. 1 square plus 2 square is equal to 5. Therefore, we have R to be equal to the square root of 5. Now, let's find the argument, which is theta. So, we know that theta is equal to tan inverse of the absolute value of y divided by that of x. So, let's substitute y and then x in here. So we have y to be 2, we have x to be 1. And then we have tan inverse of 2. Therefore, tan inverse of 2 gives 63.43 degrees. So that is the value of theta, the argument. Therefore, we have the modulus to be the square root of 5. And then we have the argument to be 63.43 degrees so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye